Hello everybody, welcome to my second part of my Sly Trilogy review, and today I'm going to be reviewing Sly 2 Band of Thieves. Sly 2, like the first game, is an action platformer, but this game is more of a GTA open world style game. But to start off, I would like to discuss the storyline of Sly 2. Like Sly 2's predecessor, it has a great storyline that again deals with a mafia-like gang called the Claw Gang. Basically, after Clockwork was defeated, his body parts were discovered by a notorious gang called the Claw Gang. But each member of the gang had a reason for taking a specific part of Clockwork. Dimitri, who is a member of the gang, took the tail feathers to contribute to his counterfeit operation in Paris, or Jean Basson, a Canadian lumberjack who stole the talons to make his staff cut down trees faster so that he could increase his profit by exporting more lumber out of Canada. There are over five different Claw Gang members, including Dimitri, Rajan, John Basson, Arpeggio, and the Contessa, who also works for a police force known as Interpol. So now that you know all of that, I'm going to get more in depth with the story. As you already know, the original three Cooper Gang members are back and better than ever. Bentley and Murray are now playable characters with their own unique features. Bentley is equipped with trigger bombs and a sleep dart gun and Murray can pick up enemies and launch them into different targets. There are also new features for Sly such as pickpocketing and paragliding. When you pickpocket, you can either obtain coins or other valuables such as a gold watch, a topaz, and many other gemstones. Once you have obtained all the valuables you need, you can spend your hard-earned cash on upgrades for each character on a website called ThiefNet. On ThiefNet, you can trade in all the valuables you collected for coins, you can then buy abilities for each playable character. I think that ThiefNet is a really unique feature to Sly 2. Like the pickpocketing feature, another cool one is paragliding. You only obtain this power up when you reach John Basson's section of the game. The unique feature about paragliding is that you can use it whenever you need to, and the power up won't run out. The feature in Sly 2 is what makes it one of the best platformers of all time. But as you already know, Carmelita is back in this game with a brand new voice actor. In my opinion, Carmelita's voice actor for Sly 2 was the best one in the entire trilogy. Carmelita also has a sidekick named Constable Neela, a poor girl growing up in Dubai who later joined the police force. But in Sly 2, Constable Neela will help Sly many times during the game. She will show Sly hidden routes to the boss's stronghold, and even help him out in a few other occasions, like getting Sly to dance with Carmelita so that Murray and Bentley could steal the clockwork wings from Rajan. But sadly, Neela turns to a bad cop later in the game, when she busts Carmelita and Sly for dancing with each other at Rajan's ball. This will give Neela an upgrade in Interpol so that she can take Carmelita's spot in the police force. Later in the game, Sly and Murray get taken by the Contessa, an Interpol member who uses hypnotism to get the location of where thieves are hiding their loot. Then Bentley is forced to rescue his gang mates in one of my favorite episodes in the game called Jailbreak. Later on in the story, Neela and the Contessa continue fighting for a higher rank in Interpol, which later breaks out in an all-out war. This is when Carmelita gets captured by the Contessa for experimentation. After many episodes, Neela gets so driven by power that she steals a computer chip from Clockwork called the Hate Chip. This is what powered that flying monster. How Neela obtained it from Arpeggio, who is a, the Claw Gang's computer specialist. Once Neela obtains the chip, she becomes Clockla, a flying bird-like creature that resembles Clockwork a lot. Once Sly is finished dueling the mechanical beast, Bentley gets his leg crushed in an attempt to retrieve the hate chip. The cause of his legs to get crushed was because Murray couldn't hold Clockwork's mouth open long enough. After the accident, Murray, feeling broken on account of Bentley's accident, left the scene of the crime. Nobody knew where he was going, but this wasn't going to be the last time we would ever see him. As you can see, Sly 2's storyline is superb. Sucker Punch did a wonderful job with developing the storyline and the characters. So now that I have discussed the storyline, controls, and upgrades, I'm going to give my final opinion on the game and also grade the game. From the 35 times I played this game, each time it gets better and better. It's like every Sly game I play, it doesn't get boring. Overall, this game is amazing, fun, and great to play with your friends or family. The final grade for Sly 2 Man of Thieves is a 15 out of 10. 
The only reason I gave this game a high rating value is because it is one of the best platformers that I have ever played. It's better than the Ratchet and Clank, Jack, and Spyro series. If you guys see this game in the stores, I strongly recommend you pick it up because it is a great game and also a great experience. Thank you guys for watching my Sly 2 Trilogy review, and stay tuned for part 3 when we're going to be reviewing Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves, the final installment in the Sly series, hopefully for now. So, thank you guys for watching this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel for some Sly walkthroughs, and also Jack and Daxter walkthroughs. Uh, thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.